Greetings comrades, Soviet Gaming here. Today we are making another guide for ISEPS Idle Space Energy Particle Simulator. Yeah boy. So uh, I'm at the stage. As you can see here, we have a bunch of things. And um, I'm at the stage when I can do the full reset. Well, not the full, but the singularity reset. And right now I'm at 1 million cubes. So it was overdue a little bit. And some things were reworked, and I'm here to tell you how uh, to get to this one, the 1 million reset. Let me take a look which uh, singularity reset is this. Oh, we can actually see it in the singularity tree here. So we have 6 out of 43 uh, points, so basically we got uh, 6 of those. So this is the 6th simulation here. Since we are at the tree, let me show you what do I have over here. So those are the trades that I went for. Uh, I started with the red, then I went with the white, and then I went with the blue. So that's what we are having over here. As for the milestone upgrades, I went to tier 10 and maybe 11. Yeah, I, w I fully completed tier 10 and didn't even touch tier 11 and got enough. Uh, points to do the full reset. Uh, in terms of the upgrades, let me see. I did some upgrades here based on the guide, the crystal guide. I will release it a bit later with the, all the info. And out of one time ones, uh, I don't think that I've got a singularity bundle. Yeah, not yet. So I don't even have the singularity bundle. But you know, I kind of free to play it all. So I only paid for the no ad pack and that's about it. Everything else was done using the in-game chests and everything. As for the token upgrades over here, I kind of invested most in the alpha output. Everything else was more or less even and increased uh, gamma and Helen output quite a lot because those two give you a really, really good boost. In terms of the supplies upgrades, I got went for the extra crystals and extra tokens. Everything else over here doesn't seem to worth it that much because, you know, um, it's not that great specifically for the cost. It's a one-time thing, so probably not. For the BB bot, I decided not to go for anything, just the small multiplayers here. But overall, increasing the duration seems to be a bad idea for me right now. Well, because you don't use it that much and is either working or not and uh, if you don't have time to actually uh, get all those running all, all the time like uh, keep it up all the time it won't help you the few seconds won't save you from that you can't uh, you know stack them up one after another so it will be like few hours anyway uh, as for the tasks I have 1k of those completed so I have all those done and that was pretty easy, but after that it feels really scary to go for the next one, which is 1.4, which is like 40% of what I have here, so it's... Wow, that, that's not, not really close. Another milestone that I want to point out that you want to get as soon as possible is the G Corporation a model collection, and I went for the offline G points. Since I mostly play this game offline, I don't run it all the time online, so that helped me a lot, like... 50% efficiency, it will persist through the old type of reset, so that's really, really cool. And going for this one should be your priority. If you can afford this and you have to wait for like one extra day, go for it. That will help you because you can't, if you can't run your game 24-7 online working over here. As for companion cards collection, on every run I try to max out whatever I can. And uh, if I can get to 25 in order to get the, you know, unresettable milestone for something, I'm going for it. Like this Diplomat Pig Morp over here. So I got it to 25 and next time I reset, it's there. Uh, what are my normal priorities when I go for the G Corp when I reset? I usually go for minimal of everything. Just I put my basic stuff in here and closer to the you know, stage when I got my basic setup ready, I'm investing a lot into the Halkenovich in order to get more uh, lower gamma cost so I can get the gamma points. I invest a lot into the um, Lorena so I will get more L bonus that will give me more income. I totally skip Elder over here because he is more or less useless for me. Um, I go really hard on Chad because that will give you energy price that means more money that means more upgrades of everything and if you can afford to unlock particle boy over here 
that is really good that's all particles output bonus and better output so he is one of the best options you can get and if you can go for it go for it and upgrade him as much as possible that's the best investment as well as you can get and after that you can spend the rest of your gamma points on everything else after that we have the uh, a get to Arian that will increase the artifact amount. This is useful in some specific situations. I'll tell about it a bit later. This is like um, my mechanics on those uh, later uh, resets. Nyx or Beatles is totally useless. So don't don't go for him. Phoenix, come on, that doesn't give you that much. Just just do some random upgrades if you want to. But honestly, focus on on those guys. Those three will be your best bet early on. Now, as for the Corvus funding here, it's pretty even. I just invest as much as I can in the material extraction that will allow you to get uh, the higher bonuses of everything. And Corvus funding is the same, basically. You invest in what you can, uh, upgrade as much as you can, and you focus again on the top one, which will give you energy because that will give you more money to buy more stuff. So that's pretty straightforward. Oh yeah, guys, I want to show you the talents as well. I forgot. So uh, you invest in those interplanetary contractors. First, uh, I think first one was vegetarian regular, this one that will give you artifacts. Then was this one for equipment bonus. And then was the solutization for solutions. And then I went for banner consultants. Once again, for those, I will make a separate guide because uh, this is a complex topic and you don't want to mess those up as well. At least you can reset them from that time. So it's not that bad. With the talents, you can reset them by watching an ad and it's not a problem. The main problem will be that you will have to um, reassign... Where is it? That you will have to reassign all those automation things over here as well and don't spend extra points on automation while spending the required amount on the talents. That's the most complex thing for me. Oh yeah, and I wanted to show you infinity upgrades as well. So basically I went for even upgrades all around. So I got uh, how many? 15k of the total infinity upgrades and over here I focused on well the highest tier available that's tier 3 for me tier 2 amplifier is 6 uh, this is kind of useless but it's there city 11 here tier 1 is more important as well so it's uh, plus 13 and I'm trying to invest in those amplifiers and energy price and data cube mostly like those are my, my priorities over here and uh, when I can't afford to get more than one level of those, I go over here in the expansion and particle series and upgrade those instead in order to get those numbers up. So the more total affinity upgrades you have, the higher will be your overall multiplier here. So it's better to go for those sometimes instead of going for the ultimates. Okay, now let's move on to some tricks that will be useful for you as you go through the game. First of all, Edgetarium. Uh, early on, you can go all in here and spend it evenly. But later on, you will understand that like by the end of the run, after the reset, you will get overall, let's say, like 700 trades over here and 700 trades over here, right? And you're like, okay, uh, I know that I will get 700 here and 700 here after I will, like before the reset, after I will invest my everything I can over here. And uh, what do you do when you start? You go all in, you buy all those things and you invest, if total is 1.4k, basically you buy 700 of all particles output or 750 let's say. And then you don't buy anything else, you keep those for here, like you don't touch them, you don't get data cube gains because it's useless. Uh, I will explain why in a second. So you just buy all particles out. After that, you spend the rest of your resources on building up your gains of energy and everything. And uh, I advise uh, specializing over here, game automation, you turn off beta particles, like you leave only uh, cell energy, market, alpha, uh, and then you go for gamma and helen particles. Those, like, this is the setup I mainly use when I want to grow. Because everything else over here will give you marginal gains. Epsilon might be a good option. Maybe some better upgrades, but most of those don't affect your overall income, overall income of uh, money or energy that much, and that won't affect your long-term performance. Let's put it like that. Then, at the point when you feel like, okay, I'm pretty far away, you want to do the 
thing, the important thing. So before buying all those data cube gains, you need to upgrade your artifact gain. So in order to do that, if you that's only if you can get to that point, obviously, not early in the game. If you can get to Edge Tourer and this guy over here to get more artifact amount per buy, you should go here, save up some gamma points, go all in for this guy. Ooh! Nice level up. We can see what what do we have here. Do we have an up? No, that's sad. So you go all in, all in over here. After that, you go to the Corvus funding, and uh, over here you use up Project Mela and Project Lara. So that will give you uh, artifact acquired and a lower price. But you want artifacts acquired increased amount after you will go with those and then spend some points over here your amount of artifacts you will buy here like here it will double so basically before the upgrade it would be something like 40 50 of those and now you get 110 so um before doing all the trades here, the final trades, you would like to invest in those upgrades and then you can increase this number of data cube gains. Why do you want to do it later in the game? I don't know if you guys already guessed it or not. This will be the additional multiplier on the data cube gains. But it can be done later on. Since your data cubes are being calculated based on the energy gained in the current simulation, and then there is a multiplier uh, applied to it. You can do it later. So even if this number shows you a really low amount, don't be sad about it. Just make sure that you reach your maximum in this run. And uh, well, if you can afford those upgrades, of course, that increase the multipliers of artifacts. And then just go all in over here and get as many of those upgrades as possible. And that will boost your overall gain by so much, guys. Uh, let me actually do it five times since it's like we can afford that much there we go so we got a uh, 14k multiplier to data cube gains and uh, now this number will increase drastically and after that you can do the milestone upgrade uh reset simulation and get all those or you can go for the singularity if you are ready for that if you have enough so i think we are ready to do the jump uh i showed you everything that we had on this uh, singularity let's go for the next one as you guys know you don't have to wait like if you can do the singularity event go for it straight away i was waiting in order to make this video to show you the end of this singularity so let's do the reset and then less more points it's really like really important to get the right points here and in the crystal shop so if you do the right build that will increase your progress so much let's go to the perks and get the new one for the singularity this is the like how they are named so uh in order not to mess up you can use those numbers and uh, here is actually the recommended path for the singularity so basically in this order you go for red one red two white one white three uh, blue one blue three blue two, and so on so if you follow this path you should be okay and this is like for non-respect perk tree so that means that if you'll go for those singularities you won't have to do the resets because they are quite costly 500 diamonds uh, crystals is kind of a lot you can use those for something else something better i will actually drop a link to this one uh on the video description so we can find the link for this and other documents for the game over there and uh, i advise you guys to use it because that will help you a lot in order to do the right thing so right, let's get the blue two cool scientists that will allow us to get more better output, devise the better course and pretty cool, right? So we are getting it, nice. And uh, we started the new run and from here it's pretty straightforward. You turn on auto, you turn everything plus 25 and, uh, and, and just go and grind it. So it's pretty straightforward, but there are some tips that are really, really useful. The hardest thing in the entire game is finding the point when you need to save up to do the singularity um, event, to reset. And figuring that moment out is the most important thing because it might be beneficial to wait for a few more days before doing the normal uh, reset simulation and get the singularity instead of just, you know, going for another run. Because later on you will have to build up for each simulation for like 
I don't know, few hours, up to 10 hours. So for me, in the last one, every simulation reset took me about two days or so in order to get the maximum results. And you want to make sure that you will be able to get the next milestone over here, or at least the Infinity upgrade in the Ultima series, some of those important ones, uh, before doing the reset. So if you get those, that will give you some marginal increase, or maybe not marginal, maybe a good increase, uh, but if you'll do the reset and just get a few points in the infinity upgrades over here, like a few ticks uh, somewhere in the early stages of it, that won't be a good idea because you will waste a lot of time for nothing. I saved the screenshots on the phone for you when I did the last reset, which was uh, from 5th to 6th singularity. And here it is. So I've got about 350 of each uh, all particles output. My level was 54 and those were my gains. So those are just the screenshots. And uh, yeah, I got plus 41 data cubes. Uh, do we have anything else? Yeah, and we have the gamma. So I didn't even get to the companion card collection 12, which is weird. I should have been there. But anyway, oh yeah, that was it. I was here. So I wasn't that far into it. And at this moment, I managed to get the reset, guys. So at least now you will have some some milestone. I think you can uh, aim for either your level over here, like level 54 is a 55. It would be better to do the reset at the level 55 and wait a little bit. So that's one of the milestones you can use for the next singularity or overall amount of data cubes, which is more even, but honestly, I think it will be kind of on the same page if you do the same path of development of your account, I think. Anyway, guys, I hope this guide was useful for you. If it was, let me know in the comments. If you want any extra guides, let me know there as well. Join my Discord so we can discuss this game as well over there. And check the website that I'll link in the video description and the pinned comment for the text guides and all the info that you might need on the game. I'll try to keep it updated as well. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel. We need to hit 1000 subs as soon as possible. And only you can help me with that. More subs, more content pretty easy um yeah like the video as well <laughs> thank you for watching guys that's about it soviet out do свидания